Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another sit rep episode here on Brick Mania TV. Uh, first things first, we've got some awesome pre-orders and because of that we are having a sale. Um, we're also doing it in honor of the one year anniversary for the GHQ store, so this is how it works. 15% off store-wide um, online with promo code GHQBDAY. So GHQBDAY, that'll be your promo code to use for 15% off. But if you're able to make it to one of our retail stores, it is 20% off in our retail stores from now through March 11th. Um, so that's basically like an extended Mad Minute sale. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> so Get to the stores while the stores still have good stuff in them. <laughs> yeah, well, and then there's plenty of stuff. I mean, we've, we've been through the GHQ store a million times. I mean, there are still kits in there that have been sold out online for months and months. So if you're able to come in and, and stop or send one of your friends who lives in the area, whatever you got to do to right. make it work. And that's not just the GHQ store. The Chicago store and right. the Apple store all have awesome stuff in there, too. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's quite the quite the inventory and all of it's 20% off uh, through March 11th. So make sure to take advantage of that. Um, do, you need a, do you need a coupon code? For that? You don't need a coupon code in stores, just bring it up. Yeah. Just bring up the sale. You know, I'm here for the GHQ birthday. Well, even if you're in Chicago or Chantilly, just mention it um, and they'll make sure to hook you up. Our store employees are good about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, but then online, use that promo code GHQB Day and that'll get you 15% off your order, including these awesome pre orders and restocks and new releases that we have available because it's a sit rep, so it's all that stuff. Um, let's start with the, the elephant, the biggest kit ever in the room. The LCAC in the room. <laughs> the LCAC in the, the room. Right. LCAC in the room. Landing craft air cushion. Mm -hmm. LCAC is what you see here. This is a monumental kit. We actually have the F 35 on the deck, just to give you some idea of the scale. Um, so, this is a sort of once in a blue moon type of brick mania kit right. those kits that are we always pushing the envelope definitely bigger than the pt 109 definitely you know up there in that uh, guarded guarded church uh highland keep range of, of, of pieces gigantism um, but the only way you're going to get it is you actually have to pre-order because we are making right. them to order we will not have an inventory of these sitting around mm -hmm. because it is so big we just that's just too much <laughs> it's also one of those deals too where we need to get an idea of you know prepare our production facilities for this kit so what we're going to do is we're going to launch the the pre-order now it is live right now but then on sunday night we're going to close it down because that'll be our final count so if you want to get it on the first batch of these you've got to place your order your pre-order within these next couple of days um, if you're not able to pull the trigger on it initially in a couple of months we will do another batch of pre-orders once once the production crew recovers. has recovered <laughs> exactly uh, but for right now for this initial batch we need to know kind of how many we're making because it's a heck of an undertaking. Um, and so this pre-order is going to be live from now through Sunday and then it will close down. This is not going to be made into a kit. It's not going to be available in stores other than like as a display model probably. Well, we're making three for our, for the LHD-8. Right. The, the Macon Island, the aircraft carrier we're building. Uh, but we need these for us. Mm -hmm. And they may eventually end up in the stores. But the idea is that eventually we'll ship the, the ship around to different stores. But, right. Uh, we're not gonna, yeah. If you want to see one of these things, you'll have to either come to one of our events or maybe we'll get them in the store. Okay. Uh, or buy your own. Or buy your own, yeah. Pick yourself, then you can build it. Uh, it'll come with a crew of five, uh, just like the real thing. Right. A uh, whole bunch of printed elements. This is just a prototype, um, so there's, there's plenty that still needs to be done. And this is a Navy vessel, but it does transport Marines. So okay. imagine a bunch of cool Marine stuff coming in the very near future, and you want to have your LCAC ready so when the Marine vehicles come out, mm -hmm. or you want to put your single Abrams on the deck, you, you'll be able to do that. Start small, keep going big as, as stuff releases. That's, right. that's the way we like right. to do it. And stuff that we haven't released yet. We can't even announce it yet, but there's some really cool stuff coming. Oh man, the pipeline is so exciting. If only I had insider access. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so this pre-order is available right now. Like I said, it'll close down on Sunday, so make sure to get uh, active on that. This is our other pre-order, the triplane. So this is the, the Fokker DR3 triplane. So you, we've done this in the past, always have done the Red Baron version. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a little different one. Cody, Cody really wanted to do this. Um, if you remember the movie Flyboys, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, there was a, a certain bad guy flew a black mm -hmm. Fokker, and there actually are, this isn't just completely made up, there actually are black, there were black Fokers. Sure. Um, but uh, Cody wanted to do this color scheme. Um, it's missing all of its stickers, so don't don't worry. Still that it's, a prototype. Yes, it's, it's, it's not all the pieces it should be. So this is one of Cody's prototypes, but this is, this is our next World War I fighter plane mm -hmm. coming out. You will actually see quite a onslaught of World War I fighter planes, because we, we had a lot of stuff that we either wanted to do, haven't gotten around to it, or um, are updating because newer, newer, better parts are available. So the, yep, yeah, the, the, the DR1, this is the dry decker. This mm -hmm. is it. 
um, is available now for pre-order. We just released the Albatross D3. Um, if you didn't get in on that promo, how, or didn't get on the pre-order, how can you get one of those? So the only way you can get one of the Albatross right now, because the first two batches sold out before its release date, uh, is in our retail stores. And lucky for you, if you can make it to one of the retail stores to pick one up, you get it 20% off too. So that's about as, about as good of a deal as you <laughs> can get. They're not gonna last long. <laughs> no, uh, but I don't think the stores will have a, a ton in stock too. So if you wanna get your hands on one of the first batches, one of these, make sure to go ahead and do that. Uh, I know I definitely will be. Um, but otherwise, you'll have to wait for the next round of restocks, which is the best way to know when that's showing up. Sign up for the email, get, get attached to the newsletter, follow us on social media, and we'll let you know when they are back available online. But right now, the only place you can get them is uh, in a retail location. But this is available for pre-order right now, um, so you can pick that up uh, or, and get it sent to you on these, on these first batch. And what, what about and This one, one won't close down. And so, we still have the Lightning right here. Right, so the F-35 is the other new release for this week. Thankfully, for people who want to use the promo code, there are still some of these available online. I believe we did two batches of this too, so, you know, a little higher price point kit, so they stick around a little bit longer. <laughs> Just <but> a bit. <laughs> they, uh, they definitely went quick. So Cody's designer's desk is live right now. Make sure to go check that out. He goes through all of the, the, the updates and the features of the F-35C. It's a much more uh, sturdy model than the previous one, um, and he really likes some of the updates that he was able to do, especially in the nose, um, and then just all in all with how the landing gear works, make sure to uh, to check out that video where he goes over all that stuff. Very, very cool model, super swooshable, uh, and a nice update, so he was very proud of it, and we are proud of him, as always. Yeah, that's a great model. All right, I will set that back there for now so that we can put more stuff up on the LCAC. Um, so along with our new releases and pre-orders and everything else going on, we also have some restocks. Um, these will be going up online as production uh, has them completed. Uh, so just keep an eye out for those. Hopefully, we're hoping everything went out in the email this morning, but at the same time, we'll we'll play that by ear a little bit. So the Spitfire, very, very popular ever since we created it. That is back as well. It's, this is the early model Spitfire, mm -hmm. so it, it does have very you know characteristics of the early, early model, a little bit different than the one I did uh, a couple years back. So, mm -hmm. uh, of course, the pilot has been majorly updated. So. Yep, Dunkirk and Battle of Britain edition. Yep. Super popular plane, and you can see why because it's very, very swooshable, and it's a super fun build. We've seen some people checking in uh, and just posting pictures of the build process, and as far as like time built, spent building versus you know the the payout you get when you complete the model, this is like a great mid-range kit uh, for people who you know only have a couple hours to build it. Maybe can't sit down and build an LCAT. <laughs> who, who doesn't have time to? Build yeah, it? block out some block out some block time. Out Take a, a vacation. <laughs> Also back, uh, we have the Schwimmwagen and the Nibelwerfer. The Nibelwerfer. You know what the Nibelwerfer does? It nerfs Weevils. Yeah. So those are two really actually like uh, low priced, mm -hmm. you know, entry level, I guess, kits. Um, the, the Schwimmwagen, I should point out all these cool features. It does, have, you can like actually, when you're driving on shore, you don't need that, that propeller getting dinged up right. and having, you know, Adolf in the car behind you ram into you and damage the, pro the propeller. So <laughs> you, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can do that. It does, ha it does have some fun little play features. Yeah. It does have a, this, this really novel reverse gear. It's called a paddle. It's called an oar. Yeah. <laughs> so if you get into a situation when you have to back up in the water, you do have that, the oars on there. So if you're ever wondering, why do they have that on there? Well, that's the reverse gear. Yeah, you better so. start rolling. So this is actually one of my favorite mini kits too, just because it's such a unique looking vehicle yeah. to begin with. And then the build is so sturdy and playable. And I mean, you can put a machine gun on there. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then the cool thing is you get this really like premium printed tile. On mm -hmm. there. So that's a texture printed uh, like bedroll mm -hmm. kind of tile. I don't know if it's a tarp or, or what it is in, in real life, but we... Towel. Yeah. No, towel yeah. <laughs> after, the, after you're swimming. Yeah. After, after, you, after, after you go after swimming. After swimming. Yeah. You can, you can <laughs> towel off. Um, very, very cool. Yep. And then, yeah, and then also back is the gas. So this one we literally brought back, uh, one, because we knew some people yeah. wanted to see it. Here we can move this to... Oh, I suppose we can put it on the deck. The, move that. We're using move this as our studio line. deck. Yeah. Camera guy, can you see that okay, all this stuff? It's gray on gray, I'm probably sure, I'm sure it shows up <laughs> real well. Um, Gaz, the Gaz uh, AAA, it's basically a model AA truck, or mm -hmm. AAA truck, uh, Ford made under license in, in, uh, in Russia. Cool. So, but during World War II, this would have been one of the staple vehicles used by the Red Army. Mm -hmm. uh, our stores do have some of the add-on packs left. So there's a the cover, yeah. there's the anti-aircraft versions. The um, machine guns. Yep, yeah, there's the four machine guns, the, the, uh, and then there's another one with the big, the 72K gun. Mm -hmm. um, some of the stores have it, we do not have those online. 
Um, but we want it, we still have them in store, so we're like, we're gonna bring this back so people right. will have something to use with their, their you know, put their add-on packs with. We did slate this one to actually be put out of production. So, oh, was it previously retired? Yeah, yeah, we we okay. we had, we'd actually plan on, on not making any more after, mm -hmm. after uh, 2019, and there was just so much of a, the add-on packs left over. Like, well, we right. might as well make more of the truck because if people are really that into it, let's mm -hmm. let's let's let them have it. Well, and that was part of the reason too that if you've noticed in the past here, we've been kind of trending away from add-on packs in general, just because we wind up with a surplus or one or the other, and then we're constantly trying to chase to even it out. So now we're just making models the way they're cool and then if we want to do a different version of it in the future we'll release a whole nother model like that because ultimately you have to buy the base model to create the add-ons anyways right. and the add-on packs all the extra packaging all the blah 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 it right. ends up actually costing more mm -hmm. so if we did we just made cool models to begin with um that would actually save you guys money yeah so. which which is definitely the way to go but like he's saying the stores still do have a, a quite a sizable amount of add-on packs for the guys uh so if you're able to even order yours uh then you can head into stores uh, and pick up an add-on pack and Deck it out any way you want because that's, right. that's totally awesome. Um, cool. So that is everything that is up for pre-order. That is a new release and that is restocked right now. Uh, we had some minifig legs, torsos, uh, the brick arms, printed crates, etc. That went up online earlier in the week. Uh, so those are also available right now. A um, couple of notes to go over. Um, Nebraska Brick Days, March 28th. March 20th. Yes, we will actually have this thing on display. Mm -hmm. So I'm bringing a small little uh, amphibious scene. Uh, be some vehicles, some ground vehicles. Will be this, and a little beach. Uh, so I will be there. Uh, Amanda will be there too mm -hmm. with uh, um, uh, with some of her art, Lego art. So Brick Mania will have a table. We haven't done this. Will be our first actual booth at a show in 2020. So we are taking a little bit of a step back away from doing all these shows. One, we have World War Brick, our own show coming up this summer. And two, we we have things that we need to we want to build. We want to mm -hmm. you know we have. We took last year was our big push to get to get you know basically open three stores. We we moved to and open a new one. And 2020, we want to build a new big display model. So mm -hmm. we're our schedule's kind of full, and we don't have a whole lot going on in the spring. But right. we will be at Nebraska Brick Days. It's in Nebraska Brick Days, Omaha. It's actually in Council Bluffs, Iowa, Iowa. <laughs> but which is just like across the river. So mm -hmm. it's 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 a nice place to it's like the convention center. Nice place to have a, have a uh, display. It'll be us. It'll be all kinds of. It won't just be brick mania. It'll be right. other um, builds on display. Particularly if you're into model railroading, they have some really nice uh, Lego train displays. Cool. Um, and then of course there's just other builds and stuff. So it's it's kind of a nice small show. If you live in the Midwest, I'd recommend going. Sweet. Well, and if you want to check out an Alcac in person uh, with all the little bells and whistles and whatnot, that'll definitely be a yeah. show worth checking out. Uh, and then you can talk a little bit, of, uh, too, about uh, the upcoming World War Brick. Uh, there are updates on the blog right now available for that. Uh, and then we've also got some cool stuff in the work for people who have uh, purchase those weekend passes. Uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff that you can get access to, so make sure to stay tuned for, for more. End of this month is when the weekend passes Correct. change price. So if you're thinking about coming to World War Brick as an exhibitor, um, the price will go up drastically after March. So April 1st, the price goes up significantly. Mm -hmm. And we are actually getting to almost, I think we're almost at the halfway point of number of tickets sold. So we've, we've, passed, we've, we've passed, the, we've passed the, the third, I, last I looked, we went past, we've sold one third of the available uh, weekend passes. Mm -hmm. And we limit the weekend passes on purpose because we want to typically have a small group. We don't want to have, you know, if, if you want to have the right experience, be able to meet all the people at Brickmania, have some time to, to talk to them. If we have 400 people, 500 people, you are not going to be able to, to right. you know, you, you'll feel like you've been robbed. I know I, I felt really bad last time we, we had a World War Brick that had over 200 people. I was like, this is too many. That's why we split it up into, mm -hmm. into several. Um, mm -hmm. We are rapidly approaching that, that sellout point. So if you are thinking of coming, don't hesitate too long to buy your tickets because the price will go up and of mm -hmm. course they will sell out. Once they're sold out, literally the only way you're going to come is be able to come is during the public day. Days. Turn the day past. And that's when we put up the barricades. You, you're not going to be able to do all the fun stuff that you can if you're an exhibitor or weekend pass holder. Right. Well, and as, as you were saying, too, we're going to continue, you know, as we develop this stuff, this is our first one in Minneapolis in a while um, and our first one doing it this way. And so we're releasing stuff as we create it, just updates and whatnot. And so you don't want to wait until, you know, middle of April and then all of a sudden we're like, hey, we're going to be doing this at World War Brick. And then you're like, well, now I really want to go. Right. Like, if you just secure your stuff early on, then you get to sit and enjoy all the stuff we release up until then. Um, you know, including stuff like what do you get in your gift bag? Yeah. The, the meet and greets. You know, what are we doing after hours? The auction, all that kind of stuff. That is all going to be released beforehand, uh, and so you just get to enjoy all that kind of stuff. 
Yep, that's awesome. And you'll be able to see the behind the scenes of Brickmania, the stuff that we, models that we've put away and sort of forgotten about. We will mm -hmm. bring those out. And so people that come for the weekend pass will actually be able to see all that stuff too. Yeah, it's going to be an awesome time. I'm really looking forward to it. I know a lot of us are. Um, other than that, I believe that is everything that we have to cover. Remember, our mock contest ends on uh, May 25th, Memorial Day. Uh, we've gotten a lot of great submissions for that already, so thank you much. Um, and then we'll continue to go over uh, what the prizes and stuff. Maybe when Landon's back from vacation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Landon gets a vacation. Like, this is like, that's a big deal. Like, Unprecedented. Yeah. So Landon's been working hard. Mm -hmm. So Lando, yeah. Lando's out this week, so. Some well-deserved time off. That's why we got, that's why we're doing this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that is everything. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, get those pre-orders. I hope not. Come here. Come here. Well, at least we'll get it. Come here. Come here. Oh, I forgot to put an oh. SD card. Oh. <laughs> what? Can you put put her bed in there? <laughs> oh, look at she you. looks scared. Look at you. I don't like this thing, Dad. What do you think? Hi. You got your toy. It's right here. It's like, but I'm in an LCAC. Put that in there. I don't want to go on land. Here's your new bed. See? You can hang out in there for a while? We just take the bed and stick it in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there you go, dog for scale. <laughs> dog for scale. <laughs> Help me, Dad. <laughs> All right, I'll rescue you. Yes. I'm not a She's dog. so ready to be picked up. <laughs>